about 1,000 marched in Long Beach Women's March to defend women's reproductive rights on October 2, 2001. Then Oliver, DSA Long Beach, was one of the speakers. Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming out today. A uh, special thank you to my fellow members of DSA Long Beach Woo! and to every community organizer and volunteer who does the work to make Long Beach a more equitable place for everyone. Woo! When I was 15, I started a feminist club at Wilson High School. When we were all there, we understood that abortion is something that everyone who needs one should be, should be able to access safely and on their own terms. At the same time, while we understood that, I know that personally, I've taken abortion access for granted. I learned about Roe v. Wade as a teenager in high school, and in 2014, a decision made in 1973 felt like ages ago. And on top of that, we lived in Long Beach, California, a deep blue city in a deep blue state where we enjoy laws on top of Roe to further guarantee everyone's right to access abortion. So when I read the news that the Supreme Court failed to intervene on a near total abortion ban in Texas, my heart broke. My heart broke for our neighbors a few states over whose right to access critical health care and determine the path of their lives was taken from them. And my heart broke thinking about the undue burden this would place on people who need abortions and how this would compound stress and struggle for each of them. And this pain and heartbreak I felt over the undermining of Roe, I honestly can't separate from the pain and heartbreak of every instance recently where a woman, a transgender, non-binary, or intersex person's right to determine the path of their life and pursue a life that is safe and fulfilling has been taken from them. My heart breaks every time critical health care is made inaccessible by exorbitant costs and a broken insurance system. My heart breaks every time a transgender person's determination to live their truth is met with discrimination and violence. My heart breaks for every woman who spent years in prison after defending herself from an abuser, rapist, or trafficker. My heart breaks for every parent who is not going to be able to come home to their kids again after a deadly interaction with police. And my heart breaks for all the immigrant girls starting their lives bearing undue trauma from being detained in migrant camps. Abortion access is a public health issue. Systemic racism is a public health issue. So is climate change. So is wealth inequality. And so is immigration. As we come to this point where we have to defend Roe in the streets, let us recognize the crucial fight to defend abortion access as part of a single shared struggle we are all fighting to make life equitable, fair, and safe for everyone in Long Beach, California, the United States, and Earth. We are all here because we understand the gravity of the Supreme Court's inaction this September. And I think I would be hard pressed to find anyone in this crowd who has not felt the crushing weight of converging crises over the last two years or more. So as we've come out today, we have refused to be defeated by our political foes and those who wish to control our lives and control our bodies. Let us continue to refuse defeat. Let us refuse the control of nine court justices completely removed from our communities over the path of our lives. And instead, let us choose to continue coming together in organized community and movement to fight, to guarantee each other the quality of life we all deserve. Thank you.